living your best life. Hi. <laughs> Boxing Day 2022 trip. Um, we had a really crazy lead up to Christmas this year, so looking forward to this time away. It's just the four of us, and we're heading down south about four or five hours from Sydney to Wadbilliga National Park and explore around there. We're staying at Cascades Campground. We've wanted to stay there for a, quite a while now, um, and it's just sort of never teamed up well. It's either been closed or booked out. We did try and get here in one of our bigger trips uh, when we wanted to see all the down south of that area. We didn't get there, so we're heading back here this time. Uh, we're staying here a couple of days and then we're heading further south again to Postman's Track Campground. We sort of found that campsite last minute. We're hoping to meet up with some of Matt's friends uh, later on in the time here. We've got about two weeks free and we haven't really planned anything. And it's kind of nice just the four of us to sort of take it or leave it and see how we go. Um, we are really trying to be a little bit more free with our packing and our planning just so that we can kind of explore a little bit more as well. Cascades, day two of our trip, which makes it the day after Boxing Day, 27th. We are going to go check out the Cascades. Apparently you can slide down the rocks into the water. The kids were a little hesitant at first because it's slippery in some sections. They had their water shoes on and someone's put a rope in to pull yourself up, which is pretty easy. Once they got over their initial reservations, you couldn't get them off it.
look around and see what adventures and trouble we can get into. Oh. I hear trouble coming! <laughs> I hear trouble coming! Trouble's coming! Trouble's coming! It's didn't the guy say that? Just me and Till at the moment. Mm -hmm. Two fallen soldiers. As usual. Cameraman's carved it. Backup winch boy is catching flies. The um, State Forest Road is getting a bit tighter and a bit steeper. I'm trying to get down that river. And I'm getting close. Because mum's asleep yeah. and she didn't ask me to. <laughs> but I just knocked some air out of the tyres. There's plenty of traction but there's a lot of sticks and I don't want to lose a tyre. Welcome to the land of the living. Behold our chair. <laughs> In our travels, we found a nice little creek to have some lunch and a bit of a paddle. It was actually really, really pretty, so we ended up going a little bit downstream and had a bit of an explore. You want a what? An umbrella tree. An umbrella tree. <laughs> Alright, what do you want to do? Two yeah, I had two rats, yeah. So you want to go back, have some snacks, yeah. maybe do some reading, and then we're going to play, we got a new game. No, not that one. We got a new game. Yeah, what's what's the game? Murder Mystery on the Dance Yeah, and then I think we're going to uh, have an early dinner and watch a movie, is that right? Yeah. Alright, let's go. Today we're going to attempt the Wadbilliga Loop. So we're on our way from the campsite up through a couple of forestry roads, down the mountain, a few river crossings apparently, and there's also a fire tower we want to check out. Everyone's a bit unsure because we don't know what's burnt out since the fires and what hasn't, which we found yesterday. A lot of them were just overgrown and the tracks were lost. So, see how we go. Told us to try and go down was closed, but I managed to find another way around it. 
we're just back on the main road now. Um, it's all mostly been two-wheel drive from now. There was a couple of um, there was a couple of like I don't know washouts and whoopsies on that to technical. So this should bring us down the mountain and across the river, and then we'll head up to the fire tower hopefully from there. I reckon might be this little washout. See the little washout? I watch this American activity. See the trail? This is good content. <laughs> yeah, see the little washout? Oh, oh just not the floor that. So we found the river, we've just crossed it, we had a, a river crossing um, and Matt's just finding somewhere for us to park the car in the shade. We'll stop and have lunch here, we'll definitely go for a swim, it's pretty hot. It is quarter to 12 so it's lunchtime anyway. Um, I think we set up about 9.30 so we, we had a bit of some wrong turns but it's, it's really nice down here and it'll make for a nice swim and lunch break. Oh, I didn't even press record though. Why are you recording on your own? Stop recording. come to a driveway with a locked gate. Just to the left there was another track that went down over the river which is I'm assuming the truck was supposed to take. That was even more overgrown than what we've been doing but on the other side of the river I basically lost the track. Um, we're by ourselves so maybe if we had company I might give it a go because you can see where the track should be but um, 
everyone we've spoken to said they've been here heaps of times, but not since the fires. So it doesn't look like anyone's pushed through here since the fires. So we'll call this one and just head back to the main road, swing down towards Mud Road. Yeah, it's So just an update, we're planning on leaving tomorrow. So today we went for a bit of a drive around and did a loop. Um, we went down to the river and had some lunch and then we came back here to the Cascades and went for a bit of a swim. But right now we're just having dinner. Look how good my steaks look. Yummy. to 11 and we've just packed up the trailer we just took our time today it was rained all night so the trailer's wet it's kind of really foggy there was no chance of it going to dry anytime soon um and where are we going now from here we'll go to kuma get some food and some fuel don't need fuel but i'm not sure when we're going to get fuel again so we'll get some food and some fuel and all right Apparently there's a shop in Kuma that's got a lot of paper maps. Struggled to get paper maps before we come, so I like paper. I'm old and stuff. And we don't really... Only 36. Just well, looking for things to do day trips. Yeah, because we haven't really planned the next part of the trip. We're going down. We think it's a three hour drive, but we're not sure. We don't have reception today. So I think it's a three hour, three hours down further. To Postman's Campground. Um, Southeast Forest. Southeast Forest National Park. National Park. It's quite scary, isn't it? Thanks, Matilda. 